Question is from Natalie Getz. What are the pros and cons of supersetting? Super setting. So super setting is, uh, is, I think there's a few different definitions, but the traditional definition of a superset is taking two exercises, just two, and doing one after the other one without any rest. Um, now, some of the benefits of doing that, well, it depends how you combine exercises. If you're combining exercises that work different parts of your body, uh, a lot of the benefits tend to be more of a stamina and endurance type of benefit. Um, and it tends to be a little bit more local, more uh, generalized, I would say, for the whole body. If you superset for the same body part, like I say, let's say I do one chest ex exercise and then I go to another chest exercise mm -hmm. uh, very quickly, I get endurance more locally in the chest. But the reason why you see people supersetting typically with weights is because of the pump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, 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 the blood that rushes to the muscle... Uh, in a superset is just, it's amplified. It's tremendous. Yeah, yeah, you get a phenomenal, this is why bodybuilders love doing supersets because they're always looking for that. Well, pump. this is why it's included in most of the hypertrophy phases in our programs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When the when the adaptation or the desired outcome of what we're chasing in that phase of the program is hypertrophy, sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, getting the pump, uh, it's an incredible tool. Mm -hmm. uh, but like any other tool, it, you can use it and you can abuse it. Uh, I for sure was a kid who abused this. I chased, I did my first workout with supersets and had the most massive pump I ever had in my life. That's all I'm doing now. And now I fell in love <laughs> with it. And then I was Mr. Superset guy. Every time I trained, I always superset because I love the feeling of the pump. Now, like anything else, the body adapts and gets used to that. And then the, the original benefits that I got from it initially start to diminish. And so if you are supersetting or using that tool, use it intermittently. And mm -hmm. like we pro the way we program it in our programs, it'll be in a phase. So you won't see supersetting any longer than about three weeks, maybe four mm -hmm. weeks tops inside the program. Then you'll phase out of it and do a more traditional straight sets where you have resting in between yeah. exercises. But incredible benefits, especially when chasing the pump, but like anything else in any tool, you know, the the more often and more regular you do it, the the the, de, the returns start to diminish, and you want to move and phase out of that. Yeah, one of my one of the other benefits of a superset, and this can't be understated. I think oftentimes we focus on the physiological response uh, from an exercise, like oh, this is good for strength and endurance and a pump or time, you know, build. and and not just time. That's also a good point. I'm glad you brought that up. But there's another one. Uh, there are psychological benefits to working out, okay? And supersetting, uh, for example, sometimes I like to superset opposing muscles. Mm. I like to superset biceps with triceps or chest and back. Now, why? Because you get a massive, you look huge. Dude, if you're, <laughs> you're, 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 you're you grow three inches you on your, your arms. Shirt, like yeah. in <laughs> two seconds. It feels yeah. phenomenal. You pump, I, I remember reading articles about this. That's like, a good point. One of That's Arnold's favorite supersets was uh, chin ups to bench press. He loved working lats and, and chest in a superset. And I don't know if there's necessarily any physiological benefits aside from the fact that you're moving from one to the other. I don't know if there's a benefit from the fact that you're working opposing muscle groups, but the fact that both sides of my body get a great pump, you know, psychologically speaking, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. And, and that definitely plays a role in training, you know, enjoying what See, you're doing. See, I, I look at it the same way that I, or at least how I use it now, the same way that I use tools like, like HIT training mm -hmm. or circuit training. It's like... A great tool, all kinds of great studies around the benefits behind it. Like anything else, if you do it all the time, then those those uh, benefits diminish. But use it when it makes the most sense. So, well, supersetting for me is great because it's a it's a great way to get a lot of volume in a short period of time. So, if I know today is a day where I like, you know, in a perfect world for me, I've got ninety minutes to two hours. Like that's where I can stroll in the gym, mobility, walk on the treadmill, get my mindset right, like get hydrated, get into a great workout slowly, ramp up, and then cool down. Like that's uh -huh. perfect world for me. But that's not every day. Uh, that's a, that's a blessing when that happens. A lot of times, what ends up happening is, oh shit, I'm looking at my clock. Katrina told me she, uh, she needs me home by four because there's no one there for Max, and it's already three right. Right now, I'm already. I've only got 60 minutes tops, and I haven't even started yet. Today's a great day to do some supersets. Mm -hmm. Like I want to still accomplish uh, uh, all that volume, and I'm limited on time today to to keep up my my training regimen. Okay, well now I'm going to throw supersets. And guess what? Because I don't do it on a regular basis all the time. Whoa, the body responds. Oh yeah. Here's here's three of my favorite ways to superset. So one is same body part, exercise mm -hmm. to exercise. It really doesn't matter if they're 
you know, both compound, both isolation. It's just mm -hmm. fun to work on the same muscle with a different exercise without any rest in between the exercise. So that's one. The second one is opposing muscle groups. I just talked about that. Biceps and triceps, chest and back, quads and hamstrings, uh, phenomenal supersets. And the third way is known as a pre-exhaust pre superset. Yeah, yeah. That's I love and this one. one was, I first learned about reading uh, the book called Heavy Duty by Mike Menser. And what he would talk about is doing a isolation movement on a muscle and then immediately going to a compound movement. So you pre-exhaust the muscle with an isolation movement. Mm -hmm. So let's say I do flies for my chest. Then I go to a bench press. You have to go way lighter on the second exercise. That's another great way to do a superset.